Buffer, the Assistant Director at the Parthenon Museum. Today we're going to talk about the real, the replica, and the copy. The Parthenon in Greece was built over 2,000 years ago as a temple to the goddess of Athena and also to show the neighboring city-states of Greece how important and significant and strong they were. The Parthenon in Nashville was built first in 1897 and then again in the 1920s about a hundred years ago. It was built as the art building for the Tennessee Centennial, a fair that celebrated the 100th birthday of the state. Nashville looked back to Greece and saw many things they wanted for their own city, an interest in culture, a belief in democracy, and dedication to learning. The Nashville Parthenon was built as a replica or copy of the ancient building in Athens. We're the same size and we have the same number of columns. Both buildings have sculpture on the outside it tells a mythological story, the birth of Athena on one side and the battle between Athena and Poseidon on the other. Something I hear quite often is, I've been to the real one, meaning I've been to the Parthenon in Greece. Yes, our building is a replica or copy of another building that was built thousands of years ago, but the Nashville building is a real building and it was built for a different purpose. Just because something is a replica doesn't mean it's a fake. In addition, this is the only place anywhere in the world, including Athens, where you can get the experience of being inside the Parthenon with existing walls and a roof. This is the only place in the world where you can experience that sense of the space, what it was like to be inside the building. The word real is easy to define, something that is genuine, something that actually exists. A copy is usually defined as a reproduction or an imitation sometimes with a negative connotation. A replica is a little different. A replica is defined as an exact copy and it has a positive implication, a copy that somebody has worked on to make accurate and precise. Plaster casts are a very important kind of copy. They have been used for hundreds of years for all kinds of purposes, from studying anatomy to learning about environmental pollutants. They're time consuming, and costly to make. Making a plaster cast calls for a lot of artistic ability. Because the artists and designers of the Nashville Parthenon wanted this building to be an exact replica, they looked carefully at all the sculptures that still existed from the ancient building. The problem was that some of the pieces were broken. Some statues were missing arms, legs, even heads. In worst cases, the whole body was missing. Luckily, there were written descriptions of what the sculptures originally looked like and also what myths were told. Even luckier, a museum in London called the British Museum had many of the original sculptures. And so the British Museum made plaster copies of these sculptures, which are called casts. Making a cast was a long and tedious process, but it resulted in an exact copy of the sculpture. The two artists who created the Parthenon sculptures used the casts from the British Museum to figure out what the pediments might have looked like. They also created heads, arms, and legs to make full bodies from what were only fragments. The casts that the British Museum sent to Nashville are displayed on the second floor of the Parthenon. Sometimes a visitor asks me, are these paintings real? And I can answer, absolutely. Every painting in the Cowan collection was made by a man or woman using paint, brushes, and canvas, and each image is a unique one. You might see another painting of fish or mountains or a town pond, but it will be different than any of these. Artists make choices all the time about color, technique, brush strokes, subject matter. Each choice is unique, and all those choices go together into making a piece of art that is unique and absolutely real. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. I hope to see you at the Parthenon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're the first to know about all the exciting things happening at the Nashville Parthenon.